Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We are using the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-6R from 2004, probably for the final time as I've pretty much done the affinity points for it now, but we are here in the Southern 100 and let me tell you, this race is awesome. Now, a track like this, very difficult to overtake, very difficult to race at in general really because of how bumpy the circuit is, but the AI we seem to have had a bit of a boost with their bikes. As you can see, the acceleration up against some pretty difficult bikes, and uh, we need to be on our A game to make sure, for one, we don't crash, two, that we catch up to the AI, and three, we put in some very good competitive lap time. So I'm keen to see how this one gets on. Spoiler alert, it's fun. <laughs> very, very fun. I do very much enjoy this circuit a lot. So with Peter O'Donnelly ahead of us, I'm going to try and break around the outside and then go back up around him into the right hand side for the Balabag hairpin. Not quite. Oh, he just made contact with the wall there. <laughs> he absolutely clattered into the side of me after banging into the wall. Unexpected, but surprisingly, both men stayed on board the bike. So over to the right for a very difficult corner. That corner seems to always catch me off guard, so I do need to be careful. But this part here is what I'm looking forward to. Full acceleration, obviously feather throttle a little bit, but this part coming up now, give it everything. Full acceleration, get into the straight here, give it so oh, turning, twisting, moving. We're all right, we're pretty good. Now, when I say full throttle, I guess it's not quite, but it's it does feel like it. You, you might feather it a little bit, you might just let off the acceleration, so just a small amount, but you've got to go for it through there. It's, it's just no inhibition, don't think about it, just go for it. <laughs> You overthink it and you'll probably crash, so it's very important that you just go for it. But to be fifth place in what five five seconds behind the leader, 4.5, call it call it five seconds, Nicholas Kekunu. That is a good performance from the AI here in Ride 4. And something I'm very excited about because this will make it now that I can't just rest on my laurels and take it easy. We've got to push. And this is what I love to do. Love to push in Ride 4. I don't always get a chance to do it. Played online a couple of nights ago, and that was a lot of fun. And of course, we've got the Dot Race British Superbike Championship, but I'm not competing in that, I'm commentating. So, for this, this is my opportunity now to show my skills, show my talents, and have some fun with the difficult AI. Now, the AI is obviously never difficult, usually, but we drive past the Aprilia there. Look at that power on board the Kawasaki as we go on to the brakes for the uh, first corner in third position. Diane Binti Che ahead of us. Of course, the Malaysian here in the Southern 100, but uh, yeah, getting back to my point, I'm rather excited to be uh, being challenged by the AI for once. It happens every now and again. You do get the AI to... Oh, touching the curb there, that's not ideal. Bit of a scary moment if I do say so myself. As we now go back over to the left, to the right, to back over to the left. Harden the brakes. Do we do the same thing here? Can we get past the MV Augusta? Not quite. Well defended from Diane Binti Che. So, we are still in pursuit, and this is extremely exciting. It's very tight here, isn't it? It's really difficult to overtake as we get super close to the rear of the MV. Don't fancy touching those stock tyres with my slicks. Could uh, end up badly for the both of us, but here we go. Powering down now. The last time we had fun here was uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually. Maybe a month ago. I made a short there about squeezing through it. We've done it again. <laughs> Squoze through. Beautifully done. Absolutely love that. Look how bouncy we are on the brakes here. This is a fantastic circuit. I do love the Southern 100. If I do recall, the Southern 100 made my top 10 list for the tracks here in Ride 4. That was awesome. That was so enjoyable. Not many corners and tracks give you that sense of excitement and speed, but that, that certainly did it there. That was very enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed that, but if you enjoyed that, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing as well. So, charging once more, Nicholas Kekkonen still leading the way by 3.5 seconds, so a couple of exchanges with the AI, so we're still on it, very much on it, a little bit of a gentle braking there, just touching the kerb once again for the Castletown corner, do need to be a bit more careful upon the brakes, but now charging down the straight once more on the Ninja, we are the fastest man on circuit, 10 seconds quick we were on this lap, obviously makes a lot of sense with us being at a standing start on the first lap. Curious to see what bike the finish rider's got. 3.4 seconds across the line and it's still roughly there. 
This will be interesting. Now, the time is moving quite rapidly. You can see that in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And the, for the tyres, they're very cold. Cold tyres. Now, do you recall, I think I chose soft front and soft rear. My idea was that the tyres could go off towards the latter stage of the race, making things a little bit difficult for us. So always looking to add to the challenge here in Ride 4. So a beautiful entry into the hairpin. Do love that corner. It's one of those corners that I've crashed there so many times that I refuse to crash there again. And that reason, I'll continue to do good laps here in the Southern 100. So back over to the left. Careful of the wheelie there. Back to the left once more. Go through the bushes if you have to. Just be brave. Be bold. And go for it. So eight tenths of a second we are quicker. Look at the ninja absolutely <laughs> It's... Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, I almost touched the curbs there as well. We just scythed our way up through our, those corners there. That is so much fun. I'm just almost full throttle, just absolutely braving it. Gritted teeth, you name it. Just just charging through. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. It's absolutely fantastic. And consider all of that, we only took a second away from Nicholas Kekkonen. I'm not... I am on the limit, but not over the limit yet. I think we've found the limit. I think you're always on the limit, actually, here in Southern 100. So... <laughs> It's a balancing act, it really is. We've got to make sure that we balance our strength, our weaknesses, and our determination. There's no point in getting too aggressive and too excited in some of those corners if you're going to crash in another one. This is going to be a very difficult ten laps, may I add. Ten consistent, fast-paced lap times it's going to require to win this one. One mistake and that would be it. So I've got to make sure this is it. And also... <laughs> Usually I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so if I do crash, I'll probably end up just restarting the video anyway, so... <laughs> depends where I crash and what the situation is. Because I, I get frustrated when I when I mess up the, the quality of the video, but anyway, that's for another day. Crashes still, still happen, and they do happen, so I do need to be careful with that, and I don't want to jinx myself at any stage of this one, so... Back to the left once more. This is a difficult corner to get right there. If you're brave once more, you can get through, but if you're overly brave... You got too wide and you touch the wall, so firm on the brakes, using those brake markers on the screen there is a good indication of when to start slamming on the brakes for the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-6R. So into the left. We're using this brake mark here as well as a bit of a guide, as we just gradually bring on the brakes. I actually find that uh, playing MotoGP 22 recently has kind of helped me with this circuit because I don't fully slam on the brakes, I just quite gently press them a few of these corners and I think it helps out quite a lot but I do have a very gentle braking style anyway compared to uh, some of the other players perhaps so I guess that does benefit me around here in the Southern 100 but back onto the firmest part of the tyre giving a lot of rear brake as well slowly trail braking into the cross four ways and now it's time to catch up to Nicholas Kekken and I, I must confess we caught up to him quicker than I expected he looks like he is letting us get closer Diane Binti Che is a distant memory in third. Nine, ten seconds, could be eleven seconds by the conclusion of this lap. So we're not even approaching half race distance yet. <laughs> We've had so much action and so much fast moments in this circuit. God, I love this other 100. Absolutely fantastic. So using that first braking marker as an indication of when to start braking. And there is the MV Augusta. Is that the Brutale? could very well be. It could be a 1,000 or 800cc. Not entirely sure, but we will use the slipstream of the finish ride as we improve the lap time once more to a 2 minute 10, 9, 7, 4. So already in the 2 minute 10s, this could be the opportunity. It's difficult to overtake. Difficult to find a gap. Too tight round here in the Southern 100. Do we have the opportunity now using the power of the ninja? We are through. On lap 5, we've got the job done, but now... The entire complexion of this race changes. We've been the aggressor. We've been in the pursuit of Nicholas Kekkonen, but now it's time for us to do the defending. We can't just rest and defend. We still need to attack. We've still got to keep pushing. That's the best way for me. I'm in this rhythm. I'm in a groove. If we start slowing down and thinking about Nicholas Kekkonen, I think that's when we make the mistakes. You see it in MotoGP. You see it in other racing as well, where the pit crew are telling him to 
you know, just be careful, mind their heads, you know, just focus on what they're doing. Sometimes, just let them be aggressive. They're already in that zone, they're already going for it, just leave them to it. 1.3 seconds already quicker than Nicholas Kekkonen. He's had a collapse. Perhaps he's also gone for the soft tyres, this is down to 15%. Ours are down to 26 and 17%. And as we get close to the... <laughs> Goodness me, it's this part every time. <laughs> the excitement is just palpable for that moment there. I mean, you've seen the helmet with Valentin Rossi where he's got the wide open grin and he's absolutely loving life and the uh, the Magello straight, of course, but I think, I can't remember what year he used it, maybe 2010, something like that. And, no, I want to say 2008, but anyway, I guess it doesn't really matter. But yes, that's my face and I'm going down the Southern 100 as well. Just sheer bliss, excitement and energy as we travel down this track. It's so much fun. It's so bouncy as well, though. And this is about, obviously, catches me off guard a lot, so I do need to be very careful. So breaking quite gently for the stadium bends. And breaking nice and early for the final final part of the Castle Town corner. A little bit wide, but it's not a problem. But what is a problem? There's 14% remaining on the rear tyre. We are just now starting the sixth lap. And we have 14% on the rear tyre, and just 21 for the front. Oh my goodness, that could be extremely difficult to hold on to a lead, or to at least hold on to the Kawasaki and keep it upright. 2.7 is the gap to Kekkonen. There's a huge gap to third, so whatever does happen, it will be down to first or second. What we need to do, strategy time ladies and gentlemen, is keep on going for it and keep maybe what a five second advantage six seconds depending on how high we can get if it gets around five seconds I think I'll be alright because if we do crash then I've got enough of a gap to stay ahead of Nicholas Kekkonen I'm trying to work this out here depends where we crash as well if we crash on a straight or for the change direction into the exciting part then they would already have full speed. That could be difficult as well. I'm, I'm trying to work this out. It's not really ideal as we go through the bushes, through the shrubbery and through the um, through the trees. On the left-hand side, they're still on a rapid pace, only losing three tenths of a second at the early part of this second sector. Now on the approach for the third split. Keen to see if we're still improving or if we're pretty much at the status quo point. Well, I think we're reaching that wall now. And of course, with us being... So aggressive, the night time is looming upon us. Almost 6pm here in the Southern 100. Into the church bends we go. Beautiful, beautiful line there. Another difficult corner. I mean, the whole track is a difficult corner, isn't it? I mean, but certain parts and some specific areas are where I think is a little bit more difficult. But uh, half a second down we are to the previous lap time. So it's not, not great, but it's certainly not bad. Like, whoa, steady! <laughs> steady into the stadium bends. Just take it a bit easier there, Sunbeam. <laughs> Careful. Don't want to end up blowing it now. We're doing a, such a great job, but my concerns are back to the weather. It's getting darker and we lost a second. Considering that's a 2 minute 10 lap or 2 minute 11 lap, we only lost a second. It's really not that bad, is it? We're on it. We're absolutely on it. Firm on the brakes we go once again for the first corner here. Not a corner I can pronounce, so I'll probably just not. <laughs> and we'll get on the straight here. Nicholas Kekkonen, four seconds behind. 7% remaining on the rear tyre. Oh, God. 6%, never mind about the 7. That shot off quicker than I expected. We could be down to 0% at the end of this one. Oh, that's close. Oh, my goodness. That's what I was mentioning earlier. You get a little bit too brave there, and you can just veer across... To the, to the wall there on the right hand side. Now the lights are on. This is a... Ooh, this is a scary moment. Scarier than dancing with a lady all night until the lights go on and finding out she's not that attractive. <laughs> the same feeling, isn't it? When the lights come on, everything seems to be more visible. This one, not so much. Everything else is uh, less visible, let's be honest. So, to the right. Low, ooh, wow. We lost nine tenths of a second. I shouldn't be so hard on myself, really, because we are still doing a rapid pace. And we are on the limit for the brakes, uh, for the tyres, rather. There it is. 
There it is, the flashing rear tyre. That's when you know hell is to pay. 4% of that rear tyre remains. I wanted to make things difficult. Oh, <laughs> on the curb again. I wanted to make things challenging. And I think we've done it. Oh, wow, we pulled back a lot of time there, actually, as a matter of fact. <laughs> We're still pushing. This is unbelievable. I could really relax, honestly. Nicholas Kekin is down to five seconds behind. I just went a little bit more tame into that corner there. I don't have the confidence after the previous moment. So back into the right. Fans are loving this one. Got great seats there for the Castletown corner. Gap is up to eight seconds. Has Nicholas Kekkonen binned it somewhere? I think he might have done. Well, that's a huge sigh of relief. Surely if we crash now, we've got that eight second advantage. We should have this one. But it is getting dark. It adds a whole nother layer, doesn't it? Make it dark, put the lights on and just make things interesting. <laughs> this is, I don't know. Is it stress <laughs> that's keeping me so excited? I don't know, but this is fun. Really, really enjoyed this one. This has been one of the most fun I've had in Ride 4 for quite a while. I really enjoyed the stream that we did a few days ago. Winning with the Harley Davidson VR was absolutely hilarious. But this one, it's right up there. This has been extremely enjoyable. If only more players online enjoyed these tracks, it would be awesome. But unfortunately, the general sense is that nobody cares for the road racing tracks in Ride 4. I wouldn't say no one, but there's a small margin of people. You go online, everyone just picks Magello, so <laughs> they certainly don't pick the Southern 100. Then again, everyone does choose the Nord's life and then just leave straight after, so... Yeah, who knows? The duality of man, let's say. So 1.3 seconds down we are in this sector, but I won't lie to you, the pressure's now really high. Because we are just, what, two laps removed from from winning this race? And that's... that's when you think about it, and... If I were to crash now, it would be the blemish on a perfect race. I cannot crash now, we, we, we mustn't allow it. I don't care if I've got to go slow. I will not allow it. Not ruining this terrific performance on board the ZX6R. Oh my god! The rear tyre is now less than 1%. It is on zero. Meaning, 0%, thus, nothing left. Absolutely nothing. Nada. Nil poire. No, that's points, isn't it? Nil. <laughs> nothing on it. Just, just nothing. <laughs> God, is the front tyre going to reach 0% as well? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Across the line we will go to get a good... Oh my god, that's a bad lap. That's a bad lap. Well, can I be excused? Aces, can I ask you a question? Can I be excused for a lap time that's 2 minute 13 around the Southern 100? You won't hold it against me, will you? You'll still like the video and subscribe, surely. Have, have pity on me. <laughs> The front tyre is 4% and the rear is 0 It's very rare you see 0%. I can't remember the last time I've seen 0%. But it's there. Full effect. <laughs> oh my god! First sector only down by 33 thousandths of a second. <laughs> oh, we're giving it everything. We are trying tonight here in the Southern 100. Firm on the brakes will go once again for the Apex. Are we losing? Are we gaining? If we somehow gain on any of these sectors, then that's it. That, that would be absolutely stellar. It's been a brilliant performance as it is, and it's getting darker and darker. More difficult to see where you're going. Very challenging track. It's just got a whole new level of difficulty added to it. 3% in the front. Zero on the rear, unfortunately no. We lost 1.2.2 in that sector. It's not ideal. We might actually be able to breach 10 seconds to Nicholas Peckman, though. That's something to get excited about. So firm on the brakes will go into the tightest apex, or one of the tightest apex, let's say. With a cross four ways, underneath the bushes. And then into the church corner. This is a difficult one. Nice and smooth, aim for the tight apex, and back over to the left in anger. Beautifully done. 21 degrees or so. It's still a decent temperature out here in Southern 100. We're just approaching the final lap now, 1.2 seconds, are very consistent through that spot there, didn't lose any time as a matter of fact, but here into the left hand side, I'm not risking it, I'll be nice and gentle, nice and relaxed with the stadium bends, and then slowly bring on the brakes, 
for the uh, final corner here in the Castletown corner, which is the end of the penultimate lap. It's not going to be an improvement on the lap time, but it's still a damn good performance. Nicholas Kekkonen, Diane Binti Che, where are you? <laughs> I've not seen anyone in so long. Some of the people on there have not even seen at any part of this race. The front tyre is now 1%. The rear has done what? Three? Four laps now at 0%? Unbelievable. Absolutely magnificent. Really, really enjoyed this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Even if you only enjoyed it half as much as I did. And that's a success in my book. Lost four tenths in the first split, but nah, who cares anymore? 1%, 0%, just don't crash for God's sake. I can't have that blemish on a perfect race. What a race. What a performance. I really love this one. Didn't think that uh, doing longer races would be the key for me to enjoy Ride 4 more. But so far, it seems to be working out quite nicely. I feel like I'm getting better by doing these longer laps. The short races don't really show your full potential. But here in uh, lap 10, I think... Uh, I think it is adding to my legacy here in Ride 4. I have honestly really enjoyed this one. Might be down two seconds at this point, but it doesn't matter. Temperature's dropping. It's gotten darker and darker. Tyres are, are non-existent. I do want to see that front receive uh, reach 0% as well. Oh, there it is! Right on cue! 0% for the front, 0% for the rear. Thus meaning nothing left. Absolutely nothing. Zero, zero. We started this one 100% 20 minutes ago. <laughs> now there is absolutely nothing. And tell you what, if there was another 10 laps, or maybe 5, we would have caught up to 12th place. And we would have lapped them. We wouldn't want to be lapped in the Southern 100. Unless you're really bad. But guys, that's going to be it. We're going to now break into the Stadium Benz for the final time of asking. Nice and early on the brakes. Actually went a little bit wide there, a little bit late. Getting confident in the Castletown corner, but that's it. Finally, 10 laps of the Southern 100 has been completed, and that will get us level 5 of affinity with the Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Consider liking the video and subscribing as well, and also consider becoming a member for exclusive emojis and other extra perks as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.